Hi friends! Today I'm doing a best of 2018 skincare and as you guys can see it's um, quite dark already and I'm using my ring light and I'm kind of in like my sleeping gown but I realized as I was like removing my makeup, going to remove my makeup, I realized I should do a skincare routine. Oh no, not skincare. The thing of doing the best skincare of 2018 right now because uh, I don't want to waste my makeup as well. So I'm just gonna start off right now. Okay, actually, I have curated some of my favorite. Um, 2018 products but I also have like empties, um, skincare empties, body care empties and um, my hair care one so uh, I want to show you guys everything and the things that I will repurchase so these are all really like all this consolidated um, favorite skincare, body care and hair care products so without further ado let's get started there's kind of a lot of things to talk about so this will be a very long video so go grab a coffee, go grab a snack and continue watching and of course if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe down below and like this video okay let's get started okay let's start off with micellar water and makeup removal um, I kind of have a few on hand and um, these two are empties and I'm still currently um, repurchasing them and buying the um, same products. Um, this one is my favourite. This is the Bifesta Eye and Lip Makeup Removal. This one has a little bit of oil in there so um, I use it to only on my lips and my eye when I have a mascara. And um, for this, this is a Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleaning Water. Um, this one does not uh, remove mascara but it is very very um, effective on um, just normal face powders or like you know um, bronzer or like any other thing that you want to remove at the end of the night okay another favorite that I've been using as of late is this La Roche Posay's um, sensitive skin micellar ultra water it looks like that and I went to Muji to actually get this um, pump so um, I can easily use like a cotton pad and just pump it out because I don't this one actually has a like bottle cap so I have to like you know like open it up every night so these three products are my favorite of the favorite in 2018 like the best so if you're actually looking for affordable and effective makeup removers I think these are all very effective and um, they all can be found at Watson's or Guardian. Okay, one of my favorite would be this by Festa Foam Moist. Um, it's a carbonated foam and makes your skin clean and moisturized. Um, this one actually you can shake it up before you use and it comes off as a little bubble and when you lather on your face and your skin it actually is a very soft and like bouncy texture. This one it still has a lot of like bubbles all over your face and you can massage it while you cleanse your face and I think this one it's a very very affordable and actually pretty interesting um, Cleanser. So the next cleanser would be this Hada Labo Whitening Face Wash. I've been using this for like two to three years. I love this and if you see, if you actually watch my previous 2016 or 2017 skincare routine, I use this as well. This is like my favorite face wash. I use like a lot of this already. And then recently when I went to Japan, I stocked up on this and also my parents, my sister, my family in general, they have been going to Japan a lot lately and I always ask them to help me buy this because this is so cheap in Japan. I think it's about ranging from like three to five dollars and I always buy it in um, the, the drugstore in Japan. Um, this is very similar to this Hada Labo one but half the price and I think this one makes my skin squeaky clean after I wash it but does not strip off um, moisture from my face. So moving on to toners, uh, I love these few toners. Oh my god, there's too many to even. Okay, so first would be this Cos RX One Step Moisture um, Pads. Um, I quite like the red one but 
this blue bottle would be um, the one for me because I actually want something that is more moisturizing and these pre-soaked pads are um, soaked in propolis extract and hyaluronic acid which is what I need. Um, the one in the red bottle is soaked in AHA or BHA so that one is a little bit uh, stinging for me. I like this more for daily um, use. And then next would be this Claire Supple Preparation Toner. This toner is actually a little bit more viscous and it smells very good. Uh, maybe I should just open it up and show you guys. I love this and it actually has a very very nice texture. It's almost like, like a essence and like lotion, essence and lotion kind of texture. And it leaves my skin um, very supple, very hydrated, and um, this kind of toners is actually like how to say it's um, a viscous type. It's not those watery type, watery toners that you put it in on a um, cotton pad and swipe it on your face. This one you can actually just like tap it on your face, um, and yeah, I think this one gives off a very nice um, deep moisturizing feel and uh, kind of maintains the pH level also and it soothes the skin. Most importantly, it's the soothing component um, in this toner because um, for this is under Claire's and I bought this in a package where it I think the package it was called Angry Skin Package so it has all the Claire's um, top skin care that helps to soothe angry skin which is like troubled acne skin and yeah this one sometimes I put it in uh, on like a, a few of the cotton pads and then just like mask it all over my face and I think this one um, it actually can use it as a mask as well so I like this a lot um, when I was in Korea 2-3 weeks ago uh, I actually stocked up on this as well and my boyfriend loves this brand so yeah and then next up would be um, this Clarins um, lotion and this one is also a toner and it's the aloe vera um, comfort extreme toning lotion uh, I've not finished this but this one is quite good and I used it um, especially when I'm super super dry on my skin when I have patches all over my face this one is actually very similar to the Clara's one but this one it's more um, comforting and this one has a little bit more like viscosity yeah so if you're actually looking for a toner that um, helps dry skin or like more comforting more soothing I think either the Clarins one or the Claire's one they all sound the same and yeah this one would be more affordable this one is about like 10 20 ish and this one is about I think I think Clarins would be about easily 40 or 50 so yeah they are almost the same it's a dupe. Okay, so next up would be um, exfoliating toner. So um, as I said before in my previous video, how I treat my acne, right? I actually use glycolic acid to um, kind of exfoliate my skin. Uh, I try to avoid physical scrubs to exfoliate my skin. So first one that I really really like, and I finished this bottle, and I also repurchase another bottle is the Pixi Skin Treat. Glow Tonic. Um, they actually came up with the Rose Tonic but I wasn't very like intrigued by it so uh, I repurchased this bottle as well. Um, this has 5% glycolic acid and exfoliating um, toner and this one it's uh, kind of removes my dead skin and also like makes my skin very glowy. Uh, but one thing is that glycolic acid usually will kind of sting on your face um, so be very careful with the application and just like a tiny bit not a tiny bit like maybe just like one one paw would be enough you don't have to squeeze it all over your cotton pad um, and then apply it this one it's like quite strong for my skin already another glycolic acid this one is seven percent so it's two percent more this is the toning solution by the ordinary I love 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 ordinary and um, if you actually watch my best of makeup 2018 I actually uh, mentioned about the ordinary and this skincare brand uh, I also saw it in Korea and I restocked a lot of their products um, this one it's slightly more harsh 
um, as compared to the Pixie one because this one has 2% more of the glycolic acid. Um, this one is when my skin is actually breaking out. So uh, when, when my skin is actually breaking out, I will kind of like put uh, this all over my forehead. I'll just use a cotton pad to, you know, like rub it all over and then like just spread it all over my face. Um, you can use this for me, because I have very very sensitive skin, I use it once a week, um, alternatively. So yeah, um, they, this glycolic acid thing actually helps me brighten my face and like, you know, give me very um, healthy and like remove my dead skin because um, I think it's very very important to remove your dead skin cells on your face, um, preferably every week because um, you will not, you know, like accumulate gunk on your face, and yeah, accumulating gunk on your face, on your face, and um, usually they are caused by like sebum and stuff, like excess oil on your face. Um, you will have built up acne or like extra bacteria all over your face, so that's not what you want, right? So yeah, that might cause. Um, acne and pimples. So next up we'll be talking about serum. So this one is by Claire's. This one is the Rich Moist Soothing Serum and this one actually um, is also included in the Angry Package by Claire's and um, this one is really good if you have um, acne or like troubled skin and you just want to like have a gentle soothing um, serum to put on top, to sit on top of your face overnight and um, it's a concentrated like hyaluronic acid serum and um, most importantly when you have troubled skin it's to moisturize your face and um, give them extra like hydration and even for normal skin um, like me or like sensitive skin this one is really good for just like grabbing like water and then like retaining it um, in your skin barrier I have two ordinary products as well um, I love 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 the ordinary products because um, they are actually really um, pure and their components are like you know just top form so the first one that I want to introduce to you guys it's um, the hyaluronic acid 2% and plus I think B5. Um, this one is pure um, hyaluronic acid and it has um, it is also vegan. Yeah, and this one is very viscous on your skin. Um, but I try to put all this serum at night because this one seems to be a little bit tacky and sticky on my skin. Um, so you might not want this in the morning because you know you're still putting on makeup and uh, if this fights and clash with um, your foundation or your base, um, I don't think your makeup will look good. The next one um, is this plant-derived squalene. This squalene is for um, it's an oil-based um, serum. <laughs> it's a it's a, it's just an facial oil, and um, this squalene helps for like hydration as well. So after the hyaluronic acid, I will layer it with a squalene. It's an oil, and um, it also helps me hydrate and like lock in oil. Um, the moisture in my face. So um, the next one, I actually found this in Korea because I did not bring any of the facial oil to Korea. I don't know. I don't even know what I was thinking uh, But like, um, it was very, very, very dry and cold there. Like my skin was very flaky. So uh, I went to Innisfree and I got this green tea seed essential oil. Uh, I put it all over my face and mask it like overnight. And oh my gosh, this is actually very amazing because um, I was fascinated by how well it could retain moisture in my face and it gives a very nice like um, hydration and like I feel like my skin is very supple and like it's bouncier like when I wake up in the morning after I use this. Uh, this one it's not very expensive as well. Korean products, Korean skincare products is actually really affordable. And I recommend you guys to get this at Innisfree. Um, it smells very good too if you like green tea or if you like you know, tea leaves. I think this one is um, very refreshing and it kind of makes my mood a little better. Um, I'm a person that loves scents, like just good and light refreshing smell. So the next bottle is this really small bottle. This is a sample um, Sunday Riley's. Luna Retinol Sleeping Night Oil. I want to get um, the full bottle but it's still in my uh, on the way to my house. Uh, I actually used this um, several months before 
um, Christmas and I think this one is very very amazing. I usually have very like red spots all over my uh, nose area and my cheek and sometimes like underneath here because I have allergy. So this one it actually calms my skin down. Um, in the morning I will have very nice and um, hydrated um, face. Other than, okay so if you compare this with the squalene and the hyaluronic acid everything, this one feels like all in one. Um, although this one is very very pricey, I think one bottle is easily $120. Um, as compared to the $16 bottle. This one has every single thing inside. It has retinol, so um, it helps you clear your skin and um, when you sleep, it helps you repair your skin and uh, reduce redness all over um, this area. And then it also helps to um, reduce the appearance of pores and wrinkles. And yeah, I think this one, um, when I wake up, like I literally had very flawless skin. Um, I think this is my top favorite of all this oil that I've talked about. So um, if you have extra money to splurge on sleeping oils, I think this Luna Sleeping Oil is really a good choice. Okay, so next up I'm talking about face cream. So um, here I will have day and night. So I think I'll start off with the day face cream. So um, day face cream I have several um, empties. So this one is by my facial um, store. I don't know where to buy it but um, if you pass by Bona Vista or what, there's a little facial store called um, Donna Beauty and this one actually has, uh, they actually sell all these products there. Facial Auntie always like promotes all this product and they say this one actually fits my skin very well. So this one is by the brand called Dalgo. Uh, I have not seen this brand before but it's called the Perfect Matte Fluid. I like this a lot because it is actually very matte on my skin and uh, it's a morning moisturizer. Uh, this one is um, quite moisturizing but it does not have like... This is actually quite moisturizing but it just doesn't um, grease up your face. Um, in the middle of the day and I think this one is quite good. So now I'm talking about night cream. So night cream, I'm using this Ordinary um, Natural Factor Moisturizer and this one has HA and helps the surface hydration formula. This one is also about $8. Um, I think it is quite a big tube. It's like as big as my face and um, this one is also very hydrating and does not break me out. Um, I think this is one of the better drugstore moisturizer because usually drugstore moisturizer always make me like you know break out or like you know have like little media seeds but this one is actually doing very well um it's actually a bit on the oilier side so i only use it at night uh yeah okay so one last moisturizer that i want to talk about is this claire's rich moist soothing cream this one i also love it's also included in the angry pack i feel that i really like cos rx and claire's um skincare products they're all korean skincare and they actually did a very very good job in like hydrating my skin and actually clearing out my acne as well so this one was really good um dylan my boyfriend he also loves this uh, i think this is a very simple uh, moisturizer um it's very comforting and deep moisturizing and um I think the ingredient is also very pure so yeah uh, we stocked this up a lot in Korea we bought like I think three or four of this um, product um, other than that I think yeah uh, for moisturizer I think that is it this one is a little bit um, oily as well so um, use a tiny bit in the morning if you want to um, I preferably uh, recommend you to have two different face cream morning at night so you know like this one you can just use it um, you know generously at night and then it will lock up all the moisture and yeah especially when you sleep in aircon room or like in the winter I think this is great and okay I got one last morning moisturizer this one is by Tatcha I love this this is the pore perfecting Japanese wow rose moisturizer um, it's the one in like this tiny treble size. This is the Tatcha Water Cream. I love it because it's actually a very watery gel based 
um, moisturizer and it's very refreshing in the morning and wakes me up and I kind of want to get the full size of this because um, I think it's really worth it lah. and um, actually the enzyme face wash is also quite good uh, if you're looking for like a luxurious um, skin skincare duo I think uh, you can try the Tatcha enzyme powder um, face wash I also have that but that's not included in my favorites because um, I think that's way too expensive and out of my budget but uh, as in like for cleanser I don't think I wanna you know splurge so much on a cleanser but for a good face cream it is a mask so I'll probably get this so moving on to mask, lip scrubs and um, like eye gels. Uh, recently I love this Innisfree Rollerball Eye Cream, Eye Circles and a little bit of eye bag. So I actually use this morning and night just to prep my eyes uh, and to massage my eyes and it actually depuffs my uh, eye bags as well. This one is a great product. Uh, this is not expensive as well. This is um, the green tea line under um, Innisfree. And then um, I also like this Innisfree green tea sleeping mask. It's like a jelly texture. Oh my gosh. Uh, like, like very bouncy. And it smells so good. Oh my god. Innisfree's green tea line is a must get. I kind of bought like most of the products from there. And yeah, this one it's um, I think $29 but it has a full bottle of great um, sleeping mask. It, the quality and the content inside is really very, very amazing. I think it's an excellent product. If you're looking for a sleeping mask, go for this. And then for um, sheet masks, uh, I'm drawn to this two. These two are Japanese street masks. One is by Kose and it's the Royal Jelly Moisturizing Mask. And I have acne and when I need something more soothing. Um, this one is the Minion Amino Moist Essential Mask. It's soaked in gel serum for superior moisture repair and skin translucency. Um, I like this a lot too. Um, this is my second favorite sheet mask. Um, it's for sensitive skin and dry skin and it also has a Cosme sticker here which implies that it's a damn good product. <laughs> yeah, every time when you go to Japan, just look out for this sticker and just buy all of the products that has this sticker. It's really good and um, every time when I have a pimple coming out or when I feel that my skin looks very dull, I will use this because um, this one helps to um, soothe my skin and every time when I have like um, itchiness or like egg not acne, when I have like allergies or red patches all over my face, somehow like eczema patches, I'll use this just to like soothe my skin down a little. Orange Gummy Bear um, Jeffree Star Lip Scrub. This lip scrub actually helps to exfoliate my flaky dry lips. If you have, you know, dry too many like, you know, flaky things on your lips, it's very difficult to apply um, lipstick, especially liquid lipstick. So this one, every time when I'm doing um, a swatch, lip swatch test or if I'm going out on an occasion on a date that I have to put on um, nice lip colours, I always use this to prep my lips. Sunscreen. I think sunscreen is very important. This sunscreen is by Claris. Again, it's the Midnight Blue Sun Lotion with SPF 40 and PA++. This one is fast absorbing and lightweight but this one has a little bit of white cut because it actually helps me prep my skin as well. I don't have to put on so much base uh, makeup on my face. It helps me brighten my face instantly with um, this products other than skincare products. So uh, I think first is this sponge and brush cleaner from Daiso. This one is the green bottle. Um, they actually um, evolved from the pink bottle but this one is actually way better than the pink one this one is more effective in cleaning and um, yeah more efficient as well um, this one helps me clean my brushes and uh, my sponges a lot faster uh, and it's only two dollars from Daiso so I always stock up like three to four bottles every, every time uh, when I'm in Daiso and this particular um, brush cleaner always gets sold out in Daiso because you know everyone knows it's great so um, if you don't know yet go get this very important to um, wash your brushes and your 
sponges regularly to have clear skin. And the next one would be this tea tree body wash. Uh, this tea tree body wash actually helped me clear my back acne. I have very mild um, back acne but I hate the texture all over my back so I try to use something that can clean my um, back acne. So this one is pretty good. It helps me remove my impurities and um, I think it's also a very like refreshing and minty um, smell. Then moving on to hair care. Oh my goodness, like I've been using this for like a few months now and I think this is a really really great investment because my hair is always bleached and um, it's always like frizzy and unkept. Uh, recently I got my hands onto this Moroccan oil and I have a pump here as well. This one is, I think this bottle was like 49 or like $62. I bought it off Q10 because um, on the shelves in Singapore, I think it's really like expensive, um, about like 100 over dollars. But this um, oil, hair oil treatment actually helps my hair grow. And um, the texture of my hair is a lot softer now. It actually is very shiny as well, if you can see. And every day after I wash my hair, uh, when my hair is like semi dry, I'll just, um, you know, just put it all over my hair. And then after that, um, either leave it to dry on its own or like use a hair dryer. Um, the hair dryer that I use is um, the Panasonic one that has negative ions. I bought it on, I bought it in Japan. And um, the other hair dryer that I'm using is also the Dyson one, so I will not damage my hair any further. This is the end of the video, and if you guys actually like this video, please like and subscribe, and I would really appreciate it. And yeah, good night, everyone. Bye. See you guys in my next video.